I am recording the final video for this Race to the Rod Run series. There's going to be two sections in this video, a Sunday night section and a Monday night section. It is now Sunday night. My dad and I are planning on leaving for the Rod Run Tuesday morning, so I wanted to give you an update on what we got done this weekend and since the last video was uploaded. And then tomorrow night, we'll find out what the finished product looks like if, fingers crossed, we get everything together. But right now, I'm gonna show you what we got done as of Sunday night, recording this part of the video. Most of what we got done over the past week is interior. As you can see, this carpet is in. We've already got the holes cut out for where the seats and the seat belts will be bolting in. We have the rear seat belts in. There's a kick panel laying over there on the floor. So you can see that we still need to put in the kick panels. We're also gonna be putting in kick panel speakers. So we'll have to get that done. And we gotta put in these armrests right here since we're using the Camaro Deluxe interior from the 69 Camaro. The seat doesn't go all the way to the panel. So we got an armrest that will fill that gap. And then we gotta figure out something to do to fill in the rest of the gap for that wheel well, but hopefully we'll figure that out. The dash is back in with those incredible, definitely sporty looking 1969 Camaro gauges. As I've said before, I think those look a lot better than the factory Nova gauges. Definitely looks more like a sports car. Switches are on there on the left side. Ooh, we got a horn button, shiny. That's not the horn button I plan on using the entire time. I'm just kind of using that one to get us to the rod run because I need an adapter for the one that I actually want to get to use. Well, I have it. I just can't put it on because we need an adapter for the type of steering wheel that we've got. Radio's back in. That radio is designed to look like a classic radio, but is updated. It has digital display and it connects to iPods and other music devices if you want to play music from your phone. The only thing we really have to do on the dash is get the glove box door in. So once we get that in, the dash will be pretty much completed. And we also need to do the sun visors. We just realized today that we've not put those in. And at the moment, we can't find the mounting hardware for the sun visors. So may end up going to the rod one without sun visors for right now, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get that fixed. Oh, there is one thing I can't believe I almost forgot to mention that we did get finished the doors. I can't believe I forgot about this. This is one of the parts I was most excited about recently. These door panels look fantastic. This fake wood grain still looks really good. This chrome, the style of the SS door panels. I really like this. You have the armrest, door handle, window crank, lock knob, vent window, regular window, and weather stripping around the doors. I really, really like the SS panels. These things look absolutely fantastic on this car. To the front of the car, this looks pretty much the same as the previous video. We still need to do headlights, front bumper, headlight bezels, and eyebrow molding along with the hood molding. We gotta do the eyebrow molding first because it's gotta be in back here. You've got thread cutting nuts that go on the back of it in here. So you can't get to that if you have the headlights and the headlight bezels in. And I'm having issues with getting the brackets to line up for the front bumper. It's the same brackets that came off of it, so I'm not sure why I'm having issues with it. I may just be looking at it wrong. I did watch videos and they showed that most people, or may, may just be the real way to do it, is to put the brackets on the bumper first and then hold the bumper up to the car. So maybe that'll help line everything up. So we'll see how that goes. But not a lot to do here on the exterior of the car other than a couple of emblems and just getting things finished up and touched up real good. We also installed the trunk light. It mounts right up there in that little hole and the wire runs down and out to there. I have to give a big shout out to my amazing girlfriend who Figured out how to get this wire down here as my dad and I were struggling to get it fed down there and out here, but she got it done somehow. I'm saying luck, but we'll see. Well, the only thing we've got to do is get the clip that holds it up here to the trunk hinge 
and that should be good. And the trunk is basically done. I've got all the bulbs in for the lights, tail lights, side markers, reverse lights. Those are all wired up. At some point I will get a trunk cover kit, like a, for show cars that you can get to make it look really good. But don't have time to do all that before the rod run. So this is where we're at as of Sunday night. So I'm just gonna do a quick little snap and take you all to Monday night and show you hopefully the finished product. It's Monday night and the car's not finished. We we're planning on leaving tomorrow morning, but it looks like instead we'll be getting up tomorrow morning to try and get this completed to leave sometime tomorrow afternoon, mid afternoon, early afternoon, something. We just keep running into stuff that doesn't end up working out. Uh, I'll talk about one that we had an issue with today when we get to that part of the video, but I think we'll start at the back to show you what we've worked on today and just kind of work our way forward. So the back's pretty much done. We do need to move the trunk that way, so it needs to be adjusted a little bit, but we got the chrome trim around the rear window. That was really the last thing that we had to do. It's looking really good. So once we get that trunk pushed forward, this will be completely done for one part of the car. You've seen most of the interior, but the bottom of the rear seat is now in the car. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I love houndstooth interior. And it's one of the reasons why we went with this Camaro Deluxe interior, because it's the only ones that had houndstooth. You may be able to get it in Corvettes and other cars, but Nova's didn't have houndstooth. I do know that much. So Camaro seats, my favorite kind of classic interior, that houndstooth, black and white. Console is mostly in. We didn't finish putting all the finishing touches on it because we need to run the engine and make sure that our new oil pressure line doesn't leak because the ones that we've had so far have all leaked. So hopefully our new one doesn't, and then we'll just be able to button down the console. We just got to put the shifter um, labeled section in there where it shows you the gears reverse first second third fourth the wood grain piece that goes in there and then the console is pretty much done then we've also still got to put our seats in i put in kick panels but we're actually going to have to take those out it's hard to see on this side over here but it's in there because I forgot that we've still got to put in the door jam switches to make the courtesy light, not the courtesy light, to make the dome light. Maybe the courtesy lights too, to be honest with you. The door jam switches that make sure the lights go off when the door's closed and they come on when the door's open. And can't put those in with the kick panels in because you have to run the wire to them. So got to take those out tomorrow, but hopefully that'll be a quick fix. The other part that we got done today is headlights and this is where we ran into the issue so you'll notice on these eyebrow moldings that we have they aren't really shaped quite right they come down over the piece over here and they cut into the bezel the bezel itself is supposed to be showing all the way to its corner but it's covered the issue that we ran into is there was a piece from the fender that was rolled under that kind of stuck down. I'll put a picture up on the screen to show you what I'm talking about. That was preventing this headlight bezel from being able to go in on both sides. They were exactly the same. They both had the piece blocking that. So we actually had to cut that piece off to clear it out, grind it down a little bit, seal it up where we cut it to make sure there's no rust that gets into that metal. And then we were finally able to get the headlight bezels in. Now the only thing left to do on the front of the car is the front bumper that we still haven't had a chance to try to put on since I put the braces on the bumper itself and the chrome on the hood along with the Chevy emblem that goes right in the middle. There's still a lot to do. I guess this video will have three sections. We will also have a Tuesday section in this video so you find out what happens when we're getting ready to get on the road. But that's gonna be it for tonight. So I guess we'll just go ahead and send you to Tuesday. Ready and go. Well, I know I said this was going to be a Tuesday segment of this video, but it actually ended up being Wednesday. 
we finally have the car on the trailer as you can see here behind me we worked all day yesterday and this morning to get it ready so now we are finally ready to take this car to the rod run there are some things that we didn't quite get finished but they're not necessary for this trip i want to put kick panel speakers in but again not a necessity to get the car to the rod run we also only have partial seat belts installed but again not really a necessity car's not going to be driven right now we're just getting it up to pigeon forest tennessee so then we're going to park it for the show and then when the show's over bring it back home so that's stuff we can finish later but thankfully we did finally end up getting everything together and i gotta say i am loving the way this car turned out You'll see we have some towels in there keeping the seats clean while we were finishing things up gotta get those out of there at some point front of the car is together i can't really get a good view of the whole thing because the rock guards there but got that we have the cowl induction emblems finally on the hood i really like the way that we decided to do the stripes where the side of the cowl is blue instead of the silver paint running over that allows the cowl induction emblem to stand out really well but yeah we are getting ready to leave we got stuff packed up uh, speaking of being packed up my audio may sound a little different in this segment because my mic gets in the truck and i don't feel like getting it back out but we're about to be heading up to pigeon forge tennessee for the rod run so thank you for watching this race the rod run series the short three week segment that i did i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more nova content make sure you're subscribed to the channel but for now this is south park garage signing out